ramen. That's what I'm cooking right now. I'm going to show you the whole process. And it's just a late night snack. I, I didn't really eat dinner, so uh, I'd share the whole process with you. So uh, I haven't done this before on this new camera of mine, so please be patient. But yes, I'm using Kaidong noodles from Tiffy Cooks. Uh, I'll show you the ingredients here in a second. But first, beer, Aslan Brewing. I'm trying to have beer with ramen. Got a chill glass. Hello, everyone. There we go. It'd be cool to know where everyone is watching from. It's an all right pour. It's okay. Could be better. Cheers. Okay. For the ingredients, go over here. If you're wondering, Judy's just watching TV right now. All right, so I showed you the ramen, pretty basic. These aren't your typical ramen noodles, but this is what I got, that's what I'm gonna use. For the base, the soup base is this chicken stock that I made the other day. If you wanna see that video, I'll try to link it after this live, but I do have the whole recipe from beginning to end and yeah this is really good for you it's got everything in it it's already partly flavored but i am gonna further flavor this with some of the oils that came from kaidong by the way this is not sponsored i just really legit love all their flavors so we've got scallion sauce we've got golden shallot oil both amazing if you combine that wet with the chicken sock it's awesome. I will be also putting a splash of this chili oil. <laughs> so good. I do apologize if I burp. For the for the protein, when I cook the soup stock, this is what I used. A whole chicken. This is the last bit of it. I'm just going to shred this and also add that in there as well. Shout out to Vancouver. Just reading some of the comments. All right, so toppings. I don't have green onions, which is kind of crazy because I've never had ramen without green onions. This is the leftover half an onion of something else I cooked. So I'm gonna slice this up and I'm actually gonna saute this in a pan, which all of that is over here. I will also be adding cilantro, not a typical topping for ramen, Japanese ramen, but I just love the flavor and the freshness that brings. I will be cooking up some soft boiled eggs. I'll be doing all this right now on camera. So if you guys are curious, you can follow along. Also just because I can, kimchi. I like to put something fermented, some type of kimchi or natto or whatever into my gut. So I'll be topping it off with that. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move over here. I've already got everything kind of situated here. Uh, I've got water boiling for the noodles. That I'm gonna wait to the very end. I'm gonna turn on the heat for the onions. There we go. I'm gonna turn up the heat for the eggs. I'm gonna put the eggs in here for five minutes. And I do have an ice bath right here. I'll put the eggs into right when it's done. I'll just keep it here close now. And then I'm gonna put the soup stock into this. In fact, I'm gonna turn on the heat. All right. So this is pretty basic. I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna use probably the whole thing. Now I will cut this soup stock with a little bit of the noodle water that's boiling right here because it is quite strong and thick. You could just go with it, but it's, a, it's just super strong. 
um, next right here. I'll just go ahead and get started on that. I'm gonna put some olive oil into this pan. I'm gonna turn that down because I do need to slice the onion still. But once this gets boiling, I'll put the eggs in there and then I'll get to prepping everything else. In fact, I'm just gonna put it in there right now. Just put it in here like this. This is really important when you're making half boiled eggs. I've got to set the timer. Five minutes exactly. There we go. All right, now that that's going, I'll go ahead and prep some of these ingredients. I'm going to turn the heat down. I apologize for shaking this. So obviously this onion ain't looking too good. I'm gonna cut off the outside of it. <clears throat> and I'll just toss toss it. This is really just for me, so I don't even need the outside layer. Just makes it super easy. Put off this edge. pan fry these really just to get a little bit of browning on it. I don't want to overcook it. All right, put that back on the stove. Turn up the heat. Okay, for the cilantro, pretty basic. I am going to chop it up, just make it super easy. Sometimes the uh, edges are the tips. I like to throw off. I keep it pretty rough. Just make it real easy to toss into the bowl. <clears throat> All right. All right, for the chicken, I'm just going to shred it literally with my hands. Again, nothing fancy. Now, even with the girls, I don't get too fancy, but I do like to have some kind of plating. It's just fun. I don't know if you noticed, but well, Mia lately has been doing some fun stuff with the food. It's just fun. Why not? It's kind of common in Japanese culture to plate it even at home. <laughs> Shout out to Senpai Kai. I love that he cooks right on the counter. <clears throat> it's magic. All right, put this away. I think that's about all I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna move this over to the side. <clears throat> Okay, so one thing I'm gonna do, get my bowl. Now normally I would heat the bowl up, maybe put some water in there. I'm not gonna do that today. What I do here, 
the two scoops of the scallion sauce. One big scoop of the golden shallot oil. There's some bits here inside of here. I do want to get in there. We'll add a little extra oil. This is just so good. I love the golden shallot oil the most of all the oils. Last but not least. Oh. Let me take a break from this for a second. Okay, the eggs are done. Take my ice bath. The right in. I might be a little overcooked, we'll see. It's really important that you stop the cooking process, have your ice bath ready. I don't know how that little piece of cilantro found its way in there, but it did. Just put that off to the side. This is done. I'm going to put this inside of the sink. See that? That's just about done. I'm just going to add a little salt. Barely any. So I'm just trying to get it browned up. Not really too cooked. I like it when my onions still have a little body in it. Okay, over here, I've got the soup going right now. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if you can. Yeah, there you go. It's going just, I just want it really hot. I mean, if it's boiling, bonus, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, at this point, I can actually put my noodles in right here. Let's see if I can tilt this up a little bit. All right, these kaidong noodles, these are the QQ noodles. Takes a good six minutes. I'm going to go ahead and toss that in there. This is nice and hot. Six minutes. Let's get that timer ready. Okay. I do like how this camera is. Slow to move. Okay. Okay. The onions are done for me. I've never seen onions like this in ramen, but it's going to be good. That's done for me. Okay, back to my bowl. I'm gonna take the chili oil. I'm gonna put one scoop inside. I do want to make it spicy, so just right in there. A little bit of the oil. That off to the side. And at this point, this is good to go. There's nothing to do. Just gonna make sure my noodles are stirred. Oh, we're good. Okay, go ahead and put the bowl over here. Next thing to do is the egg. So if you've got a nice 
full bowl of ice and it's ice cold, it should be easy. Oh, let me get a bowl here. Never peel eggs with these gloves on. At least I don't remember. Yeah. I'm not sure what, what the trick is, but I do know if you have it boiling really hot water and then you put it in the ice bath, I find it is easier to peel. And this is definitely peeling very nicely. Are you craving noodles yet? Hopefully this inspires you. Squishy. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, the girls would love it. It's pretty awesome that the girls love their noodles. Let me go ahead and put this off to the side. Okay. At this point, I am about ready to get going. Yeah, let me just show you what's going on over here. Not sure how this is gonna work. Noodles right there. Try not to mess up the cord. Sorry, normally I don't go live with this. Noodles are looking awesome. I only wanted I mean, a rolling boil, boil, but a little more than that, but I'll take it. Here. Bone broth is looking amazing and smelling amazing. All right. <clears throat> Almost time to play this guy. Okay. So at this point, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ladle. I am going to turn up the heat for the soup. Two spoonfuls in. Somebody asked, is this Japanese noodles? No, I don't know how I, I would classify them, but the closest thing would be maybe Taiwanese noodles. Not sure. That's going to be good for the broth. Then I'm going to get a scoop of the noodle water. Just a small scoop. You know, the one thing I didn't get is chopsticks. How could I forget that? Just mix everything up. You always got to taste it. Thank you, Cindy, for the super chat. I do apologize if I miss any other super chats. Okay, that's tasting amazing, but because I have plenty of this chicken soup, I'm going to add a little bit more to that. All right, there's my noodles. So you can't see this, but the noodles I'm going to use that same... I don't know what you call it, like a spider spatula. I wish Matt was here. He would tell me what all these things are called. I'm going to drain it, but I'm not too worried if it's completely drained or not. Noodles. Go right in. Now, because there, this is a very oily soup stock, I want to coat it. I'm not going to just place it in there. 
Okay, at this point, it's time to plate. Uh, the heat of everything. Onions first. I'm not going to do anything fancy here. Just going to plop them in. Oh, that smells hella good. Normally, I use green onions, of course. Cilantro. Not typical, but I just like the flavor. Let's take all the chicken. Some beer. Uh, yes, this is chicken broth I added. Now, kimchi. as well. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see how this egg turned out. Tricky part. Cutting this just right. Okay. Be careful. Can't cut myself on camera live. There we go. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty darn good. Put everything away. Someone mentioned I'm going to be tired. I usually go to sleep around midnight anyways. There you go. Late night ramen. Using what I got. How'd I do? Let me know. Neutrally, are you watching? How was that live stream? <laughs> Neutrally... <laughs> Is a guy that usually runs my live streams. It's the first time I've done this completely on my own in terms of this type of production. So that's why I'm asking him how it turned out. Let's see. Just taste one of these onions. Mmm, mmm, my gosh. A little bit of kimchi. Just got a nice, nice shot here. There you go. Someone said Benji's ramen. Make it your own. Do whatever you want. Mm. I feel like this is a, a mukbang. Somebody said I should open a ramen shop. Maybe a pop-up event. Usually, what's up, man? No, I don't know if I'd ever do a restaurant. Definitely. It just the commitment. I mean, what we do on YouTube already is a commitment. I've got five kids. I want to be present. <clears throat> So opening a restaurant, definitely not on the table for me. Look at that. Look at that. 
Mm -hmm. But a pop-up, maybe. Now, I was entertaining having a pop-up one day. Then I watched a video of another creator running his pop-up business. That was just way too much work. Mm. And what I need is a spoon. So, I don't know. Pop-up business doesn't sound like something I could do definitely by myself. I probably wouldn't anyways. I'd actually love to run one with a friend of mine. And maybe have a team. It would just be fun to challenge myself to run a pop-up, I think. If I found the right restaurant, the owner wanted to support it, you know, I would obviously pay the restaurant. I wouldn't even look to do it as a profitable thing. It'd just be a way for you guys to try my cooking if that's what you want. And for me to <clears throat> feed people because that's what I love doing. Mm. I haven't been watching the numbers, but did people drop off after I started eating? All right, with the eggs, what I like to do, take your spoon, get some broth, scoop it right underneath that spoon. Oh my gosh, right there. Like that. Mmm. <clears throat> I need some noodles. It's a waste not to have some noodles with that egg. I feel like I said this before. Maybe in my mama video, if you haven't seen that, kind of explains my passion for food and my, I feel like in a weird, special way, I was close to mama. Because if you're a cook, most cooks love cooking to feed other people. And so even though I, I, I talk about how a restaurant would be too hard, it's a lot of work, and even pop-up would be a challenge, the ultimate Reward is that people are happy to eat something I cooked. And I made their life a little better in that moment. Somebody said they need ramen spoons. Someone said... Benji, you make food look so good. Well, thank you. Got a little cilantro on my teeth. I do apologize if my chewing bothers you. Neutrally, did people bail out after I started eating? <laughs> okay. Speaking of the next noodle dish, I've gotten more requests for pho than any one dish. So, not only did I see a comment here, saw a comment somewhere else, but I've heard from Judy that I should do pho. So I think food, pho would be my next fixation. Mm. So pho, where are all my Vietnamese and Cambodians at? That you didn't know about the Cambodians, they know how to cook pho too. It's delicious. Mm. 
Yeah. I grew up with some Cambodian friends, and I remember going to their party, and they would have a pot just like this, full of the soup, and you just make your own pho right in the party. But yeah. Yes, you got to invite me mutually. But it's fun just to try to make pho for the first time just from YouTube videos. In fact, that'd be a good title. Making pho. Uh, learning to make pho off of YouTube or something like that. Okay, I'm going to stop here. It was fun. You guys, let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe for more food vlogs. Check out my actual video where I cook this chicken broth. Leave a comment or maybe suggest what YouTube videos I should watch to learn how to make pho. Thank you so much. Good night. Cook something delicious. Mm-mm-mm.